Hi there. I'm standing in the Land of Opportunity Gallery in the story of Virginia. Today, we're going to be discussing the death of Pocahontas. Little is known about the married life between Pocahontas and John Rolfe. In his general history, John Smith reports that Pocahontas' English language lessons continued well into her married life. Considering that John Rolfe had previously been her English tutor, this account seems reasonable. Pocahontas had the couple's first son, Thomas, in early 1615. It's likely that Pocahontas and John Rolfe would have continued visiting her family, as keeping up with relatives was important to both communities. In late 1615, the Rolfes visited England at the encouragement of the Virginia Company of London. They arrived by early June and were introduced by Sir Thomas Dale into society. While Pocahontas was in the court of King James I, little is known about the interaction between her and the English king. By January of 1617, it was time to depart. According to the English, Pocahontas enjoyed her time in England and was sad to leave. We don't have any primary source documents from her perspective though, so we don't know what Pocahontas actually thought about her time in England. The Rolfs stopped at Gravesend before continuing on to Virginia. It was there that Pocahontas suddenly became very ill. Historians aren't certain about her exact cause of death. One of the many killers of this time period, though, was something called the bloody flux, a hemorrhagic form of dysentery that was later recorded to have swept the crew of the ship that she was on. Pocahontas died when she was approximately 20 years old, 10 years after her first interaction with the English in 1607. According to John Rolfe, Thomas was too sick to travel. He stayed behind in England until his early 20s, while his father continued on to Virginia. Pocahontas was buried at St. George's Church in Gravesend, England. In the weeks leading up to her departure, she sat for the artist Simon Van de Pass. He sketched her likeness and later turned that into an etching. This painting by Mary Ellen Howe, based on the Van de Pass etching, is likely one of the most accurate representations of Pocahontas that we have. While her life remains somewhat of a mystery, Pocahontas has certainly secured her spot in Virginia's history.